Welcome to Data Mualim. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. Now go to your published dataset and manually refresh it. Once done, click on the settings to check the refresh history. And here we can see an error message displayed, please make sure your data gateway is installed. Why do we need a gateway here? For web source, it is asking for a gateway. Is Power BI mad? No, it's not, we need to fix one issue back in the report itself. But before that, let us configure the credential settings. Click on edit credentials and select anonymous and skip test connection and then sign in. Also scheduled refresh is also turned off. So let us fix the issue. Go back to the Power BI desktop and then select the transform data again. Click on the advanced editor and then change the M query used in the source from web.browser content to web.content. As it's a disabled module, these functions require an on-premises data gateway connection to work. With this fix, the refresh will happen without any issues. Now do this change in all the tables. Once done, close and apply the changes. Publish the report once the data loading is complete. Let us go back and refresh the dataset manually again. Click on the settings to check the refresh history. And there we go. The refresh is successful. In this way, we can schedule the refresh to stay up to date. Stay tuned and subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button. Thanks for watching.